The Indian telecom service industry is unquestionably the showpiece of Indian economic reforms initiated in 1991. Its stunning growth in the past two decades has catapulted the Indian telephony market to the second largest in the world. We have grown through a remarkable growth phase to reach a massive subscriber base of over 900 million. Once a lifestyle statement for the elites, the mobile phone today has become a necessity. The telecom sector is today the key enabler for higher GDP growth and a faster socio-economic development of India. Steering this remarkable transformation is the visionary policies of the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology, Government of India, in partnership with the telecom industry. COAI represents this dynamic and vibrant link between the government and private stakeholders in the Indian telecom industry. COAI was formulated in 1995 by the early operators coming together to chase big dreams. Some of us early starters in this industry got together to create a voice of the industry and thus the COI was formed. Uh, COI has led uh, the industry issues uh, very ably. Uh, COI today is really the voice of the telecom industry, uh, not only in India but even globally. And I have no doubt, like COI has led this charge for the last 20 odd years, the next decade and time to come uh, will be uh, seen as a glorious uh, time for CUI. Its membership will benefit from his intervention. And importantly, this voice that uh, has been heard almost always at the right forums will continue to make its impact. The entry of BSNL and MTNL in 2001 in the private players market created a competitive market environment. This was further boosted in the allocation of 2G licenses to the service providers in 2008. COAI has played an active role in this incredible growth story through its inputs and support towards policy formations since the introduction of the new telecom policy in 1999. Introduction of national and international roaming in 2001 was a major development in the value-added services area and the provision of calling party pays in 2002 which led to free incoming on GSM networks, revolutionized the usage pattern and affordability factor of the mobility services market in the country. The introduction of prepaid services in 2002 enabled the middle class to afford mobile phones and enjoy 24 by 7 connectivity. COAI also took the lead in initiating the Project Mobile Operator's shared TARS in 2006, leading to lesser TARS and better environmental parameters. COAI also played pivotal roles in the establishment of the National Do Not Call Registry in 2007 and setting up of telecom centers of excellence across the country. In 2009, COAI was officially recognized as India's market representative partner in the third generation partnership project. Another milestone for the industry as well as the association was the implementation of mobile number portability in 2010. In 2010, the next generation of mobile services, 3G services, were launched in the country and today we have launched 4G in selected cities too. In 2012, COAI again played a major role in the setting up of the first standardization body for telecom in India, the Telecom Sector Skill Council. All these policy initiatives, which were driven primarily by the Indian telecom industry under the aegis of COAI, yielded positive benefits and explosive growth both for the Indian telecom industry as well as the subscribers. Today, the cellular network has expanded to cover over 80% of the country's population. COAI too has developed with time and expanded to become a thought leader, with members including all aspects of the telecom value chain. COAI and its members and the industry under the leadership provided by our stalwarts has come to a pinnacle and now as we look forward to what lies ahead of us we see the next revolution. One revolution has passed which was the voice revolution. We've put India on the map. Now we have to take this country forward in terms of broadband penetration. That is where the government is focusing. That's where we are focusing. That's where our members are focusing and our vision is to make sure that 100% not only voice but broadband penetration is the next revolution that we will set for this country at rates that will be again the envy of the world looking forward to the next revolution thank you in tune with the growth size and convergence of the industry coai is transforming and is striving towards ushering in an era of revived excitement enthusiasm optimism inclusive growth and investment 
for this vital infrastructure sector. COAI have been extremely, extremely supportive of government in the last couple of years, uh, of me in particular. I think uh, the family consists not just of telecom operators, but others also who are participating in the telecom sector. And the quicker COAI rebrands itself, the better it is not just for their organization, but also for the market. And we really hope uh, COAI uh, you know, uh, uh, a great, uh, a great success in this.